Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 45 in our new, our improved, our legendary Arduino tutorial series. And what we're going to do today is look at the solution to the homework assignment that was given in tutorial number 44. And that homework assignment was to create a circular shift left or a circular shift right uh, binary function using the Arduino and the most excellent 74HC595 serial to parallel converter, which is included, by the way, in your most excellent eLEGO Super Starter Kit. If you don't have one yet, look in the description, click on the link. You can pick it up in Am uh, at Amazon for $35. It has the Arduino and a boatload of components, and it will allow you to follow along with this entire series of tutorials. Also, by now, you should know that coffee is the fuel. It is the elixir that fuels the engineering world. So I will need you to pour yourself a nice, strong mug of iced coffee. Most refreshing. I will need you to get out that circuit that we built back in, uh, where, where was it? That was uh, lesson number 42, where we hooked up that where we hooked up the 74HC595 per this schematic. And you got to kind of get it nominally working because I can't spend an hour showing. Oh, that is the wrong one. It was this one is what we did in lesson number 42. And therefore, I need you to catch up. If you haven't done lesson number 42, you need to do that so you can get the basic uh, circuit hooked up. All right, and then you can create a binary number, and then you can write the, that binary number into the LEDs. I'm going to probably need to get out of your way a little bit more, and we left the circuit as such earlier. All right, so you do lesson 42. You get this all hooked up. And then your assignment in lesson number 44 was to create this function that will take a binary number that you see at the top and shift it to the left. And then the most significant bit goes around and fills in and the least significant bit. So as you scoot something off, off the screen to the left, it goes in and fills in in the right position. So how on earth are we going to do this? Well, we need to do a little paperwork before you go in and start writing thousands and thousands of lines of code, because actually, if you think about it, it is pretty easy. So let me see if I can find some clean paper here. And then let me see if I can go to the overhead view. Hopefully I can go to the overhead view. Yes, I believe that looks pretty good. So let's look. We're going to start with 8 bits. That's 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. And I'll just kind of draw them there. So what do we want to do? We want to do the first thing, which is kind of simple. And I think if you understand shift to the left, uh, circular shift to the left, you'll understand circular shift to the right. So this would be circular shift left. You want to take this, and this is, we should remind you, the least significant bit. And this is the most significant bit. And what you will want to do is you will want to take this and move it here this one here, this one here, everything shifts to the left. Okay, and now this one is going to come all the way around and come back over here. Okay, like that. Now this is the thing you have to see. This is the hard one. So let's do that first and then let's do everything else. Well, let's call it my byte, my byte. And right, this is going to be a hexadecimal or a binary number. If we declare it in uh, Arduino as a byte, you can either work with it as binary or hexadecimal because it's really the same. Well, how could I get this all the way over to here? Well, if you think about it, if I take this number 
If I divide it by 2, it's going to go here. If I divide it by 2 again, it's going to go here. 2 again, it's going to go here. 2 again, it's going to go here. 2 again, 2 again, 2 again. So if I simply wanted to move this bit all the way over here, I would divide by 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So if I said my byte was my byte divided by 128, then I would take whatever byte, whatever bit is here, and it would end up over here. It would move it all the way over. But the problem is that moves this one over, but I still need to move all of these to the left. Well, how could I move all these to the left? Well, I could add to it. So now you see the problem is if I just do this part, I have this moved here, but now I still need all these moved to the left. Well, how can I move them to the left? Well, I can move them to the left by saying, my byte times 2. So let's think about that. If I start with this and then I multiply my byte by 2, it's going to move everything to the left. Okay, but now I have to take my, add to it my byte divided by 128, and then it will move this one all the way over. Now, if you think about just this function of my, multiplying my byte, by 2, that scoots everything to the left, and this one just goes away. And that's why we do the second part that moves it back over here. So if you do this is this plus this, it will do the function. Now let's think about the other case, which is circular shift to the right, in which case I will have this. Okay, and this, what do I want in this case? Everything moves to the right. Okay, and then what does this one do? It comes and it comes over here. Well, in this case, my <coughs> byte is equal to my byte. Okay, this time I want it to come over here, so I multiply by 128, right? Because if I take this and I multiply by 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, if I multiply by 128, I'll get this over here. But then all these I want to move to the left, so I would add my byte how do I move to the left? I divide by 2. Okay, so with this and with this, I can do a circular shift left or a circular shift right. Did you guys figure it out that it was really that easy? You just got to start thinking, right? What you guys do is you jump in and you start coding before you have really been thinking, and that oftentimes is what causes your problem. So let's look at this and hopefully, man, I really, really sincerely hope that my circuit is still working because I note that there is nothing blinking, but maybe I just didn't leave these things turned on. Okay, let's see if I can go to my new dramatic shot here. Oh, is that not just a lovely shot. All right, let's call up our code, which I think we ended up with on lesson 44. Uh, our lesson 44 code, I guess I got to go to a code view, huh? Where is my good code view? I am sure I had one. Okay, there it is. And I guess I will get a little bit more out of your way. All right, so let's see where we ended up. I think we ended up with this was doing uh, divide by 2, which is going to shift things to the right. Okay, so this was just doing the simple shift things to the right. So we got to start here. Okay, let's just start with this number, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then let's start 
by doing the shift left, which was what I believe the assignment was the first one to do. So let's start like this. And then what we should see is we should see that one just move across, get to the end, and then come back. So it's going to be easiest if we do something like this. All right, so we set things up per our earlier lesson. <clears throat> and in this case, we are going to be shifting by, we're going to do the <clears throat> shift left, okay, the circular shift left. So what did we say to do the sh circular shift left? It was my byte is equal to my byte divided by 128, and that is going to take that most significant bit and shift it around to the least significant bit. But then I got to put the other bits back in, but what those would be would be my byte <clears throat> and then times Two. So could it at all really be that simple? Hold your breath, please. Oh. 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 Boom. Look at that. That is shifting to the left. Giddy up, but is it going to go around the corner? Boom. Giddy up. This thing works. Do you see that? This thing is working. So I am moving that all the way to the left, and then it is circling around. You know, another way to kind of test that, this that I think is kind of neat, I like to create a bubble, like we've got a one that's moving. What if we create a hole, which would be one, 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 and a hole, a zero. Let's try that, and that little hole should scoot to the left. Boom. Look at that. The little hole is scooting to the left. The bit is scooting to the left. Just like we wanted, right? We are doing a circular shift left. All right, how would we do a circular shift right? Well, it would be my byte is my byte times 128 because what we are trying to do here is we're trying to take that least significant bit and move it to the most significant bit, that round the corner move, right, that round the corner, loop around move. And then the other ones we want to shift to the right, which would be dividing by two. So we are going to put that in. We're still going to have the holes, but the hole moved around the corner. Now it's coming down, going to the right, going to the right, waiting for the around the corner move. Boom! Did you see that? Boom! It is working. Okay, guys, do you see if you just think, you've got to think and you've got to find that clever solution? Because you, this could have been a terribly, terribly hard job. But you can see that by doing uh, doing a little bit of thought, it turns out to be pretty uh, pretty easy. Uh, let's go and just enjoy this beautiful view of this thing uh, this thing working. All right. I hope you guys are doing the homework. Is anyone actually doing the homework? Are you just tuning in to just watch me do all the work? You know, kind of like watching TV. Are you a watcher or are you a doer? If you are a doer, leave a comment down below, below saying doer, so I know that at least someone out there is doing. Okay, this has been Paul McWhorter from toptechboy.com. I'm trying to think, do I have any, ah, I almost had a microphone disaster. Uh, do I have any homework for you? We've done a shift left, we've done a shift right, we've done a binary counter. Hmm, what would be something else interesting that we could do with this? I I don't know. I think you guys have kind of gotten this figured out. We've done uh, the logic shift left. We've done the logic shift right. We've done the circular shift left. We've done the circular shift right. And we have, in fact, done... Uh, a binary counter. So I think that's a pretty good series of lessons. We'll probably in lesson number 46 shift gears and do something new and different. All right, Paul McWhorter from toptechboy.com. Think about giving us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you will get 
click the bell so you will make sure to get chant you'll get notifications when we upload new videos and then also think about sharing this on your social media get more people learning engineering we need more doers and we need less watchers i will talk to you guys later